Hello, it's Hacker Triple Seven, and in today's video, I was showing you guys how to back up your files on a Windows machine using a Windows 8 install disk or a Windows 7 install disk. This is for a computer that has power, but your operating system just isn't working. So, can't log in or you just can't get to it. So right here, I have it off, and I'll show you guys the first part, which is the Windows 7 version. The very same, um, once you get to the one part, the exact same, but I have to show you how to get there. So I'll first start off with Windows 7. So in order to get the disk into there, what we'll have to do is boot it on. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up our BIOS and then start the disk. So for many different computers, it's very different. When the first symbol pops up, press escape or delete or F1 or F9 or something. Just spam your keyboard so you can get to something like this or usually just black with white font. My computer's new, so I have a new BIOS. Once I've gotten to this, you can easily just pop open your ejector and insert this disk into the C drive. And then press it again and it will close. From here, you can go ahead and find your boot menu and boot from the disk. Now sometimes you may have to play around with it so you can get it to work properly, but for me all I have to do is click the F8 and then go to the very top one which is the DVD and click on it. And what it will do is automatically start the boot process from CD. So when I, once I get to the CD part here, I press the button on the keyboard. It says Windows loading files. Once you've gotten to that part, it's working correctly. Once it's finished, it's going to ask you to install Windows 7. What you want to do is make sure it's English, then click Next. Then instead of cl clicking Install, go there where it says rep Repair Your Computer. Click that. It will come up with this. Then click Restore Your Computer from a system image that you created earlier. Click Next. It can't find one, so click Cancel. Then click Cancel again. And we'll get to this. Then click Command Prompt. And now we're good. So. I'm going to leave you guys with, with this part right here, and what I'll do is I'll continue on with the Windows 8 version of this, and then continue on in general. So, same thing, get to your BIOS and insert the Windows 8 install disk. Find your boot menu and boot from the Windows 8 disk. So like I said, this is the exact same process. Once you get to the command prompt, both versions are the exact same. That's why I'll be doing it right from the Windows 8 one. Now, like I said earlier, guys, this is for a computer that can boot still, so it can still turn on, but doesn't boot to your operating system. So once you get to the home screen here, click Next, then click Repair Your Computer. And then unlike Windows 7, you want to click Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then click Command Prompt. Once you've gotten to Command Prompt on either the Windows 7 or the Windows 8, the process is the same. So what you want to do now is right in the canary, type in notepad and click enter. Once you click that, notepad will literally pop up. Next thing you want to do is have a flash drive, external hard drive, or anything like that. The bigger the hard drive, the better. For this tutorial, I'll be using a 4 gigabyte flash drive. I have a 1 terabyte external hard drive, which would be much better for the tutorial, but anything that is, use is useful. The more gigs you have, the more stuff you can back up. Now guys, you can't back up your whole computer here, but you can back up pictures, anything important. Go to File Open on here, and then you want to do hit Computer, and what you can do is you can see everything that you have available, all your hard drives, and if you scroll down to the bottom, you will see your flash drive. It should be there. Now what you can do is go through and back up the files that you want. So go to your C drive or whatever your Windows is installed by simply clicking on it once or double clicking it. And what you can do is you go down to you scroll down to your users folder, then scroll down to wherever folder yours is named, and these are all your files. So you're only going to see folders. And in, in order to see all of it, go to files to type and click all files. Now you can see every single file on your computer. So here's uh, some pictures for my project. Let's say I want to back it up. I right click it and click copy. I can go back to the computer, scroll down to pen drive, and click paste. Now it may not come up right away because it isn't 
um, React Live. So you can double click on it again and you can see I have pasted it there and backed it up. So what you can do is go back and select multiple files at once under your users file and you can back up pictures, videos, anything important. Obviously you can back up many programs but this is a great way of backing up files that are very important to you. After this obviously you can go ahead and do a clean install of Windows and then bring these files back on from your flash drive. Anyways guys, I hope this was a useful tutorial to you guys. If it was, thumbs up and um, leave a comment below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And besides that guys, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. This is Hacker 007 and I'm signing off.